Day number two here in Indianapolis for NRA 2014. And guess who just resurfaced from, I guess, a night of drinking? Or maybe no, not? No, no, no. Standing out front, entering people to win a free Beretta. We're giving away four Berettas after the NRA show, but you got to be in it to win it. So I was out front collecting tickets. So. Just such a nice guy. John, thanks for joining us yep. again. What have you brought with you? So I have the 692 Skeet. So if you'll remember at SHOT Show last year, we launched the 692 Sporting, which is our next generation of sporting guns. Um, a lot of great features on this gun. Um, most notably is the barrel, so it has an extended forcing cone for better patterning, um, less felt recoil. We also have a family of technologies we call BeFast in this gun. So all the guns come with a system of weights in the stock that makes sure that it's balanced, but the user can add or remove them as they see fit to balance the gun. Next really cool feature also in the stock is our BeFast adjustable comb. And what that is, is with a simple tool, you can just take the comb off and you can raise and lower the height as well as adjust, adjust the cast uh, left and right. The Skeet gun um, is similar with the barrels to the sporting gun, but it has a parallel comb. Um, so it's really geared for, for, that, uh, sporting, for that clay target art as well. Um, it's on sale for about $5,000. Uh, really great gun. I think everybody should check it out. And one of the things that uh, I hear often is the, where you're talking about the conicity of the, uh, of the barrels. Does it really make a difference? I have a gun that has you know, forced cones, and is it really different? So I understand that there are three classes in our guns right. when it comes to conicity the DT-11, 692, and then kind of everything else. Yeah, so basically what the forcing cone does is it's where the chamber kind of necks down into the bore of the barrel. So you can imagine when you have ignition, um, all the pellets are kind of racing to get out. So the smoother the uh, transition is, and the longer the transition is, the less pellets you're gonna have bumping into each other, the less back pressure you're gonna have. So it's gonna be better patterning, it's also gonna be less felt recoil. Is this available right now? This is available right now, if you can get one, because they're hot, so. So you heard John, the three numbers you want to bear in mind are six, nine, and two. Those are the three numbers that will make you very successful on the clay uh, on the clay field. John, thanks so much. Again, we'll see you next time. Yep. Thank you very much, guys. This is all for right now. Come and see us again here in the 2014 NRA booth. And uh, from today and from me, that's all. But if you want to connect with us, check us out at uh, Beretta.com on Facebook, facebook.com/slash Beretta USA, or you can tweet me at Beretta underscore USA. We'll catch you in a few. Bye.